This is problem number 25 from the June 2015 Algebra Regents exam. This one's fairly straightforward. All we need to do is graph the function y equals the absolute value of x minus 3 on this Cartesian plane. And then the last thing we need to do is explain how the graph has changed from the related graph of y is equal to the absolute value of x. Let's get started by plotting some points. And before we do that, let's complete a table of values. I think a good starting point is um, we'll find out what happens if x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and we'll see if that's enough. Okay, so the absolute value of 0 minus 3, um, so 0 minus 3 would get us negative 3, but because we're taking the absolute value of it, it would become positive 3. Okay, so 0, 3 is right here. The next point, if x is 1, we would find the absolute value of 1 minus 3. Now, 1 minus 3 is negative 2, but the absolute value of that would make it positive, so it's positive 2. And that point is right around there. Next one, when x is equal to 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1, but the absolute value of that is positive 1. So 2, 1 is here. Okay, next one, if x is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0 the absolute value of that is still 0. So 3, 0 is here. Okay, after that, x is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. The absolute value of that is still 1. So 4, 1 goes here. And we'll do one more, actually. Let's say when x is 5, um, 5 minus 3 is 2. So we can see the V pattern shape forming here. So I think it's pretty safe time to create our, our connect our, our dots here, from here to here. Okay, uh, part two of the question is to explain how this graph has changed from the related graph of y is equal to the absolute value of x. Now, if you can't picture in your head what that looks like, um, you could use your graphing calculator, but the absolute value of x looks like a v where it hits the origin right there at the bottom, at this minimum value. So we can see here um, that compared to this is that it's translated one, two, three units to the right. And that's really all the explanation you need, is that we've translated three units to the right. Yeah, and that's all you need to do for this question. Thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.